Zap Comics presents Top 10 Selling Books of the Week with Corey Brown. What's going on, guys? Top 10 time. Look who's here. Gregory. It's been a long time. What's up, kiddo? How you doing? Yeah. Good? You happy? Mm, no, I'm staying negative. <laughs> Still negative in person. All right, here we go. Top 10 Selling Books of the Week. Number 10 is Immortal Hulk Rushing Place One Shot, written by Jeff Lemire. This is an awful cover. Jeff Lemire. Keeping with the, the back cover is awesome. Oh, awesome that is. That's beautiful. Mr. Bozeman. Yeah, that's sad. Um, sucks. Okay, so that was number 10 uh, for the week. Number 9 is Strange Academy, number 3. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it's Ramos, I think. Right? It's a really cool cover. And this book sells. It took forever to come out because of the whole COVID stuff, obviously. But, yeah, so that's number 3. Yeah, yeah. people like this book. Yeah. All, all of a sudden, sudden, they're like... Originally, people were like, oh, Strange Academy. That sounds terrible. Yeah, I know. And then all like, of a sudden, boom, boom, people want that. <laughs> there you go. So that was number nine. Number eight is Dark Knight's Death Metal Multiverses End One Shot. Um, you know, all these metal books sell, regardless of what's going on. You literally just put that one word metal on a book, and people are like, yep. oh, I want it. And they, they buy it. And I don't know if this movie's ever going to come out. I know they keep changing the date on it, but there's Wonder Woman 84, so... That looks good. Yeah. I'm excited out. for that. I think uh, it'll be fun. Uh, number seven is Giant Size X-Men, the tribute to Len Wein and Dave Cockrum. They're coming, popping right out of the page. Yeah, so it's a homage to the uh, original cover of Giant Size X-Men number one. So that's a really cool tribute book uh, to two greats that have passed away. Cockrum uh, quite some time ago and Len Wein recently. But, um, number six is Ice Cream Man. Number 20, the third printing. They're doing these Dr. Seuss covers. This, of course, is Lorax. Um, my kids have been watching this movie, Lorax, pretty much every single day for the past two months. So it's kind of funny that this came out now. But, yeah, I don't want to show Isabella that because she will not be happy with it. Oh, yeah. snap, you killed the Lorax. <laughs> yeah, see? The Lorax. There's no moss. Oh, I'm trying to do a Dr. Seussism, but I <laughs> like a, like a, a rhyme. But I, I'm not clever. You should have let Dave do this one. Dave could have probably come up with a Dr. Seuss line right off the... I'm sorry. You know, no. no problem. Yeah, I'm sure Dave will do it at the end. When he, when he Maybe. Does. I don't know. If he's, if he's, if he's, he's clever. For okay, number five he is, is X-Factor number four. Uh, of course, the crossovers with X-Books always sell. And, um, X of Swords. Yep. Or is it Ten of Swords? X of Swords? No one No one knows. Is this number two? <laughs> Uh, no, this is number... Two. Oh, yeah, two of, 20, of 22. 22? Yeah, but it goes through all the X-Books, and people buy all of them, so it doesn't really Wait, matter. was that just like, but... Oh, it's X-Factor 4. Yeah, X-Factor oh, 4. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number four is Department of Truth, number one. James Tinney the fourth, who, of course, is writing Batman and... It's JFK. Something, uh, something oh. is killing the children, so this is a number one from Image, sold extremely well. Very interesting cover. There was a Chase cover, too, that had Lee of your one on it, so... Like you gotta get Nick Cage on this. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna figure out <laughs> what's going on. What was what was called again? National Treasure. National Treasure. Yeah, never saw them. What? Uh, you never seen National Treasure? No, thank you. Yo, I'll National pass. Treasure's a great movie. Uh, you can enjoy it. It's yours. Uh, number three, Batman, Joker, War Zone, one shot. Of course, it ties into Joker War. Uh, Batman One Hundred comes up next week to finish it off. So that's pretty cool. Beautiful cover. Man, so. National Treasure is a national treasure. I don't think it's so. a great. It's a great film. You can enjoy it. You can enjoy it. Okay, there's multiple covers for the next one. Um, there was three, actually technically four, for Spawn number three ten. This is number two of the week. That's cover A with the Gunslinger Spawn, and this introduces a uh, Ninja Spawn. So well, Spawn is he's he's been around, right? That's not a new Spawn. I think it's a newer one. There's a thousand Spawn. I know. I don't know. But anyway, somebody wants it, and then three eleven comes out uh, next month. It's but, cool yeah. looking though. Yeah. So that is number two of the we week. We saw the three eleven though, right? Yeah, but that's a nice cover. Yeah, with Chadwick Boseman that's, on the cover. Cool. Beautiful. Well, Beautiful. No, it's, cover. I think it's it's not him, isn't it? Uh, well, it's he's Al doing Simmons. he's doing the he's the, supposed to be doing he's doing he's the doing thing. the Black Panther thing for Chadwick. It's awesome. It's very cool. Uh, and the number one, of course, is the three Jokers. This is the main cover. Aside from this, the best selling cover was the Batgirl cover. I'm a pretty so that was girl. that was cover B. <laughs> I'm so pretty. That was cover B. So this, of course, very easily was um, the top selling book of the week. When the year is ended, uh, the top three selling books of the year are going to be uh, Three Chokers 1, 2, and 3, probably. Because this book is a machine. Machine. And number three comes out end of October. So that's it for the top ten. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of naked Jokers running around in this book. Spoilers. Oh my god. I'm showing this. What's a spoiler? I don't know what's going on. Oh, what? <laughs> 
So anyway, there's no context. Uh, this is one of the naked jokers. Uh, what happens? All right. Oh, I guess that spoils that there's more than one Joker. Oh, uh, I'm, here, we, here we, we go. We already know that though. Good job, Craigie. Anyways, uh, for Craig, Corey, Zap Talk, Top Ten, Zap Comics, and we'll see you guys at the shop. Bye, everybody. I do not like your stupid frown. I do not like you in my town. I do not like having you around. I do not like you, Corey Brown. Good night. <laughs>